A guilty verdict tonight at a trial one lawyer hopes opens the eyes of Peel police when it comes to dealing with mental illness. Buketsu Bawekwa guilty on all counts for her role in a wild police shooting that left her son dead and an innocent woman hit by a stray police bullet. You love your brothers and sisters, not the enemy. Kill your, your, your enemy. That's Buketsu Bawekwa and her son Mark. I will kill you, all of you, tomorrow. Threatening to kill the woman sweeping, a neighbor they believe to be an agent of the Illuminati. You can call the police. The, police. It don't matter. Call the neighbor called 911, and when police finally arrived some five hours later, they were shown this cell phone video of two clearly disturbed suspects. When they saw the videotape, they said, first of all, like, how could I have stayed outside so calm and not replied? And I said, well, I didn't want to provoke her because. For the last year or so, she's been acting really crazy. Police attempts to arrest mother and son went horribly wrong. The two officers were stabbed, two were hit with a pot by Buketsu, and when police opened fire on her son, one officer was hit by friendly fire and an innocent bystander was struck in the back by a stray police bullet. As women, I will kill you tomorrow. You and your kids. Buketsu Bowekwa has been in custody since the deadly shooting and has now been found guilty of five charges, including conspiring to murder her neighbor and assaulting police. But her lawyer challenges the way police handled what was clearly a mental health issue. The police certainly didn't treat it that way when they approached the door uh, to interact with them five hours after the incident. So perhaps there's a, an ability to learn from that experience. The defense also highlighted discrepancies in the testimony of the police officers involved in the shooting, but the judge says, these variances do not trouble me. The fact the officers did not give identical evidence about what happened at the door provides me with confidence in their credibility and the fact that their evidence was not contrived. It demonstrates that they gave their evidence based on their own recollections of how they perceive the events through their own eyes. God sent me here to get my son back and, and it's got time to get it back. The surreal trial heard testimony from Bowekwa about her dreams from God and how her son was the fifth king of kings who was being denied his rightful throne by the Illuminati. That Queen Elizabeth was uh, head of the Illuminati that is attempting to thwart our son from becoming the next king of the world. The Crown wants Buketsu Bowekwa to be found not criminally responsible, which would mean an indefinite detention. Her lawyer has been instructed to fight that. So I'm doing so. That's how it works. You have a client. If the client is able to provide you with instructions, you have to fulfill those instructions to the best of your ethical ability. And Buketso Bowekwa has been sent to Ontario Shores for a 30-day mental health assessment. A $21 million lawsuit has been filed against Peel Police on behalf of the innocent bystander who was hit by a bullet. I'm Avery Haynes, City News.